Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Sephora VIB sale haul. I know I just did a Sephora haul not too long ago, but um, I mean it was the Sephora VIB sale. I bought some pretty pricey items and I got 20% off of everything. Um, the sales are typically in November and in April, so in the future I won't shop for a couple of months before the sale because I forgot that the VAB sale was coming up and I could have saved some money on my previous purchases. So if you want to see what I purchased during the VIB sale haul, then just go ahead and keep watching. So I have two boxes and the reason why I have two boxes is because I placed two orders. Um, and the reason why this is going up so late is because of this. Uh, apparently you can't ship things with the two-day flash shipping um, option if they contain aerosol. Who knew? Um, it even let me choose the two-day flash shipping at checkout, so I'm not really certain why that was the case. But this is the way to go um, kit. And there were a couple of things in here that I've been wanting to try, and I figured this was the way to do it. So what you get in this kit is you get the dry shampoo foam. This is something that I've heard about here on YouTube and um, I really wanted to try it. The Because my hair is so dark, I have such a hard time finding a dry shampoo that I can really use. So um, I thought maybe using this foam might be a better option just because it's not a spray and I can just work it into my hair right away and I don't have that white cast or at least I don't know if I do so um yeah wanted to try that the next thing that came in the kit was the wave spray I really enjoy wearing my hair naturally uh or natural I guess and my natural hair is curly and so when I'm working throughout the week or you know whatever I just would like to have something that I can spray in my hair that's not going to be terrible for my hair that um will just kind of give it that natural wave that my hair naturally has and I figured I'd go ahead and try this um and see how that goes the next thing that came in the kit is this hair oil and who doesn't love a good hair oil and then also some rubber bands or I guess hair ties which I'm gonna stick in my purse because I am always looking for hair ties and I can never find them my daughter wears them as bracelets <laughs> this is the Sephora perfume sampler and I wanted to get this because I have been getting really into perfumes lately but I never buy a full-size bottle of perfume for myself um, and the reason why is because perfumes do have a shelf life and I can never go through an entire perfume. I feel like buying an entire bottle would be a waste of my money. So I normally get roller balls. So the great thing about these Sephora exclusive gifts, the perfume ones anyway, is that you can get, um, you get one, two, three, four, I think seven. Yeah, seven samples. And they are just the little, let me show you. Okay, I did this earlier and, and I, flipped one out of the little thing so you get seven little sample ones I don't know if you can see that I don't want to tip it too far forward I don't want them to fall out again but you get seven samples and then you can take um for any sample that you receive in this kit you can take this card into a Sephora and you just check on the back of the card which one you want to receive a rollerball of and I'm obsessed with rollerballs they're the perfect amount of perfume for me I love that I can just throw them in my purse and have them with me on the go and um, just in case I need to freshen up I guess I don't know um, I just like having my perfume with me and um, they will give you a free rollerball of whichever one in this kit that you liked the most. So it's a great way. It's a twenty five. It's twenty five dollars, and it's a forty nine dollar retail value. Plus, you get the free rollerball. I think that's counted into the forty nine dollars. But you get the free rollerball, and I just think it's a great value for your money. 
The next thing that I purchased is this Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. I absolutely love this. Um, my husband loves this. Uh, it, it just smells so good. I love their entire line of the Bum Bum Cream. This, the, um, there's a mist, a body mist that they came out with that I keep in my gym bag. Um, this is just a great, great product. I love the smell. I love the way it makes my skin feel, makes my skin feel very moisturized, very healthy. Um, yeah, just had to restock on that. The next product is something that I received in a gift set at one point, and now I just wanted a full size of this product. It is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. I had to read it on the back, the name's right here. Um, I can remember the full name, but this is just basically the best cleansing oil that I have ever used and this is what the bottle looks like it's definitely something more on the pricey side I don't think it's it's not super expensive I think it was $65 which I know some people are like why would you spend that much on a cleansing oil because it's the best one that I've ever used I've used balms I've used other things to do a pre-cleanse I don't use cleansing cloths anymore except for to wipe off swatches during my videos simply because it was giving me really bad texture. Um, so this is my pre-cleanse whenever I wear a lot of makeup um, on days that I'm filming, on days that I have something to go to like a wedding or a different event um, to go to. I use this when I get home and it works phenomenally well. It takes almost all of my makeup off and really preps my face for that deeper cleanse. Um, when I put my when I use my cleanser so this is a really really great product highly recommend this this is the first order that I placed during the um, sale this hair is just bothering me so let's just get into this box this is the drunk elephant TLC framboose glycolic night serum I have heard that this is also very comparable to the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. So I wanted to try this. Uh, they're similar in price, so I don't know why I'm switching it up. I just wanted to see which one kind of works better. Um, so I've really been wanting to try this, and I am going to give it a try, and we'll see how it works. Next, I got three Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I got the shade Bow and Arrow, and I guess I'll go ahead and give you a little swatch of each one. I fell in love with these Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks when um, when I bought the set in my that I had in my last haul, and once I saw that the VIP sale was coming up, I had to go ahead and buy more. So I bought three. So this one is... Bow and Arrow is this one right here. And then this one is Lolita 2, kind of more of a terracotta nude color right there. And then this one is Ophelia. This one's just a true pinky nude. So they're all very different colors it's right there ignore the swatch in the background that was from something else that I did earlier today um yeah so this is bow and arrow lolita 2 and ophelia next thing that I purchased is something that I have been wanting for so long I've heard so many great things about Viseart <laughs> And I finally made the plunge. I bought three of their palettes. I bought I bought the dark mattes palette. So just really pretty darker colors. Neutral mattes palette. And then this is the warm mattes palette. This one is perfect for fall. 
So I'm kind of tilting it down so you can get a better look at the colors. These are beautiful palettes. Um, I've heard that they blend really well. If you want to see a review on them, let me know. I can definitely do a look using these palettes. These palettes from Natasha Denona. These are ridiculously expensive. Um, these are five pan eyeshadow palettes and they retail for $48. This is round two with these palettes. Um, I did order this online, so when they got to me, one eyeshadow in each of these palettes was broken. These are their holiday limited edition palettes. Um, whew, almost dropped it. Could have had a catastrophe. Okay, fingers crossed these pans don't fall out because it's done. I've seen that on a couple of other channels and it's devastating. So this is the first palette sorry it's so reflective the packaging is absolutely beautiful um and this is the which palette are you the joya palette and then this one is aries it's not aries because it's not spelled i don't think it's aries it's aris but not like Eris, like to the throne, Eris. I don't, I don't know where they got this name from, but this is gorgeous. That blue shade. Um, so anyway, the only thing about this is that the, the, the packaging gets so fingerprinty, but this blue shade is gorgeous. Um, this shade over here is the one that was broken when it came in shipment the first time. So I did have to take it back to the store. That's the one thing with Sephora that I really like. Their return policy is incredible. You can return basically anything and they will give you, they'll let you exchange it or you can return it. Um, so really great. But I do plan on doing a look with both of these palettes, probably in combination, not individually, because I think that would be just too much. But yeah, really great. Really love that I got those and I hope, I hope they work. Last but not least, I picked up the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. I did get mine in a little bit darker of a shade than I probably should have. I got mine in shade Desert Beige. Um, I will be doing a first impression on this foundation at some point in time. This is, the packaging is so luxurious. It's that frosted glass. I feel like that's kind of what everyone is doing. Um, is the frosted glass and the black cap. It feels luxurious. Um, but I will be doing a first impression on this. I do have oily skin. I've heard more from people with drier skin that this is a really great foundation. Um, but it does say online that it gives you a, I think it says natural matte finish, which is fine. Um, so I really, really am looking forward to trying this one out maybe after I've self tanned again. So that is it you guys, short but sweet. This haul was, I feel like very few things for a lot of money. So um, this is definitely the most that I've ever spent at one time on Sephora, I guess at two times, but for one all in all purchase, I should say, at Sephora. Um, but yeah, I have a couple of video ideas that I've gotten out of this haul and um, I hope you keep your eye out for those. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video.